Now, his desire was to see the growth of an indigenous company, hence his decision to move his funds from a multinational bank to Gold Coast Fund Management Company. Now, 80-year-old Kwesi Gilbert Arthur least expected a decision he made some 11 years ago would hit him hard in the face, almost making him a beggar. George Quainan has more in the following report. 80-year-old pensioner Kwesi Silvius Gilbert Arthur is among over 100,000 customers of defunct Gold Coast Fund Management Company who are struggling to retrieve their locked-up funds. Kwesi, who has worked as a teacher and publicity manager, narrated how hard-working he was and believed in investment. With a chunk of his pension funds locked up at Gold Coast Fund Management Company, the quest to live a warm, meaningful life can only be imagined. All my brothers, I had five, including one lady. All of us put our money there. One died when we buried him last February. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, my, even my in-law, who also worked seriously in Saudi Arabia, came down, also put his money there. He, he also died. This very year, early year before COVID. He has run out of support from families, loved ones and friends. Ghana's financial sector, he alleged, has lost it entirely. At present, what I am thinking is that even if I get my money, I'm not going to put it in any bank. I better uh, buy something and keep in the house. I'm the eldest and it's so disheartening to me to be in this position. I mean, I mean more or less, one is, looks like a, a non-entity. Is that how I, I, I build my life? Ask how far he can go to retrieve his locked-up funds, this is what he had to say. Some of us have our dignity to protect. Otherwise, I am going to sit in front of whether they call it the Jubilee or Flash Staff House. I'm ready to die. So if I come or get out of my house into using any forceful methods, I'm going to die. It is just as good as sitting in the house and not eating and dying. The Securities and Asian Commission has stated customers of the defunct company will not benefit from a government bailout to all collapsed fund management companies as Black Shield Capital Management, formerly Gold Coast Fund Management, are in court challenging its license revocation. Customers have embarked on a series of protests with a call on government to include them in the bailout package. Customers of Gold Coast Fund Management Company form 82.3% of customers of all 53 investment companies whose licenses were revoked by the Securities and Asian Commission on November 8, 2019. 80-year-old Kwesi Silvius Gilbert Arthur is among over 100,000 customers of defunct Gold Coast Fund Management who are yearning to receive their locked-up funds. Clearly, the non-payment of these funds is having a toll on their lives and according to him most of them have Ghana cars for identification and so a bailout is very useful at this time especially when they need them and as you're aware Black Shield Capital Management formerly Gold Coast Fund Management is in court to challenge it licenses revocation so until that legal banter is over the payment of these lockup funds hangs in the balance we will be monitoring this very development and also share with you harrowing stories of some of these customers George Quinnin TV3 News, Kaneshi, Accra. Mm, certainly a very, very unfortunate situation there. We certainly will keep our eyes on it as George 